Prevention Week. Fire Prevention Week is nationally. We try to get the area schools to bring their elementary kids in, and we've actually started this year with, a, with the uh, three-year-old program because we've had issues with uh, uh, younger kids playing with lighters, stuff like that. So we try to bring them in. We make a field trip of it so they can see our station, see our tools, our trucks, and stuff like that, make it fun for them. But while we're doing that, we also uh, get down on their level. We show them videos, and we try to teach them what not to play with in the house, in the kitchen, uh, in the garage, stuff like that. Uh, teach them leaf, leaf lighters and stuff like that alone, uh, any kind of chemicals in your house. Just kind of go over that with them, and, and, uh, and everything's hands-on. We teach them, you know, the fire escape plan to get out of their house, uh, stop, drop, and roll. Uh, get out, stay out, go to go to neighbor's house, uh, have a, a escape plan for their family, a meeting place. Then we teach them how to call 911 if they have to do that. And that grades range from pre-K to third grade is what we do in Henrietta. Uh, we also incorporated Wilson schools and we're trying to get shelter in other schools to uh, take part. And we try to get them here at the station so we can uh, visit with them one-on-one. -on -one and. Uh, educate the, and it shows over the previous years of, with our fire runs and everything that we're doing a pretty good job. We're getting the word out there. The teachers are helping us in the schools, they're spreading it. And uh, we've, we've seen a lot of our uh, fires that's caused by, by younger kids uh, decrease in the last 10 years. So we're doing a pretty good job with it. What we've been averaging this year, so far our schedule, we've got uh, about seven days. We have two classes each day we have about uh, 40 kids in the morning, 40 in the evening. So we figure when we're completely done through the month with the head starts, we'll probably see about 1,200 kids come through our fire station. This fire station we're at now, we, it's bigger, gives us more room. Uh, we can uh, get the kids in, uh, show them around, take them different parts of the station. Uh, we're able to have our smoke room. We can, we got extra rooms here where we can smoke up one complete room and we're not having a hustle them around everywhere. Uh, our training room works out perfect. We put a video on that's uh, about six foot by six foot and the kids are able to sit in the floor, uh, relax, have plenty of room and their parents come with them so they get to relax too and, and uh, we get to educate them that way. But it's out here at the, the old fire, the old armory has really been an advantage for us. We, can, we pull our trucks out, they can go through the trucks, uh, they can spray water from our trucks and we never have to uh, worry about traffic or anything like that. It's all contained right here to the, uh, the fire station grounds. So it's been a big help. Um, well, I've been doing this for 20 years and uh, we've done it every year. It's, so I would say, <laughs> talking to the other guys, we've probably done this for 50 years. Right. Does this look dangerous? Yeah. Don't, does it? No. If I found this on the stove, could it be dangerous? Yeah. Why? It can be very hot. Do you know most kids get burned just because they touch something on the stove? Grease popped on me. Yeah, and it burned, didn't it? Hey, I, one time I touched the pan and then it, I, I, my stomach Yeah, you got a blister from it too, didn't you? One time that box Yeah, listen, if these pans are on the stove or in the kitchen, I don't want to touch them, okay? I don't want to get nowhere near them.